Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue. Today we're going to focus on master tapes. Um, yes, uh, a lot of you asked where to buy them, uh, what are the differences, uh, what are the prices, um, some resources to try and grab your own copies or direct copies or true master tapes. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so today we're going to try to explore the world of master tapes. Where we can get them, where we can source them, where we can find good quality copies and um, simply also learn how to find them on the web because there are a lot of places but sometimes it's, it's rather difficult to find a true quality, true copy of an original master tape um, a lot of a lot of things are there our copies are fake so we have to be careful okay so I prepared uh, a little guide online guide which you're gonna see in a few seconds I just want to mention that there are four main types of master tapes first of all you have the session tapes these are the true um, tapes that artists use to record in the studio uh, usually these are two inch because they have multiple tracks to record all the different instruments and that's very hard to find uh, those are locked in the vaults of the famous record labels it's very they're very hard to find and they really go to crazy price, prices obviously that's the best of the best apart from the session tapes um you can find the true master tapes which were obtained by the session tapes once you have all the session tapes you merged together the different tracks in us one quarter of an inch tape or two tapes um of two uh made of of two tracks usually um uh 15 inch per second sometimes also 30 inch per second speed equalization it depends where you are usually today everyone is recording in ccir because it's a better equalization but somebody still records in nap n a b okay for, apart from this Let's see what are the main types of, uh, as I was saying, the session tapes. Okay, then we have the true master tape cop, true master tapes, where we have all the other um, uh, tracks merged in one. Then we have copies of this master tape, which sometimes people did for their own, for a friend, um, just a safety copy. We also have safety copies, which fall in this category. There are a lot of uh, cases, actually. Uh, another one, actually the most uh, the most frequent type of copy you're going to find is the production copy. These were obtained, were created directly from the master tape and then were shipped out to the various countries of the world in order to print the vinyl records, the album, for that country from that copy. And these are the only ones that are a little more easy to find because there, every, every country had its own copy every country every country that was obviously pressing records if we're talking about old um uh master tapes if we're talking old recordings if we're talking about new recordings everything is different obviously um we have new recordings made some people who are still trying to use analog gear although be careful there are a lot of people instead that are recording in digital and then very easily transferring this digital file to tape. Um, maybe the, the, the result is decent, but that has to make be clear, I think. It's not fair to sell a master tape copy coming from a digital file. Mm, no, because I can do that by myself, actually. I can get an HD track and record it on my tape, and I have the same exact um, product for uh, one-fifth of the price. Mm. Okay, so apart from that, Obviously, as you're gonna see in the in the video, upcoming video, the prices are insane. Um, uh, we must though remember that the tape itself is very expensive. It goes, it depends how much, but it goes around, I would say more or less 25, 30 euro, just one little small reel. Um, plus if you get the the hit them, if you get the metal spool 
that's another 100 euro on top of that if you get a, a cardboard box that's another 10 10 euro 10 dollars etc things like that so it builds up the best is to buy just a normal pancake in a normal um piece of uh, a normal cardboard box and aim at good quality music because a lot of people are dubbing their own copies a lot of people had incredible um collections of original master tapes sometimes but mainly production copies for example a lot of a lot of master, master tapes co production copies that are going around are those coming from yukton Yukton are, is, was a huge recording facility of uh, the former Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia, which does not exist anymore. <laughs> That's uh, since 20 years ago. But um, you can find those a lot around in, the, in, the, in, in, in eBay, actually. And a lot of people collect them. They pay a lot for them. I would say at least 400 euro going uh, dollars, etc., going upwards. And then they make direct copies from those, which are very good. So if, if someone is declaring that and it's selling a direct copy, which would mean a first generation from that production copy, that, that's pretty fair. And I would say uh, it depends from the artist, uh, but I would say around $200 to maybe 250 the, the really top-notch artists and top quality copies because all if different copies may change according to the, 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 the state of preservation how this was maintained how this was played on a different machine um the, the tape used involved the, the the duplication process there's a lot of variables as you can imagine but going all the way down to the result this is a good price for a copy of someone who has its own master tape or co production copy. I think that's the way to go if you want to try to explore this um, this world. In any case, take a look and leave your comments. Okay, guys. So um, here, as you can see, we're on the Tape Project website. Now, this is a fundamental website page because um, uh, we could say that this new a movement this the renaissance of reel to reel tape uh, began also thanks to this project which started a few years ago uh, dedicating um some time to uh, illustrate people how to um, optimize their reel to reel recorders what types to choose in fact you can see there's a machine section and they create create uh, today and they cre and they've created in the past um, a good amount of fantastic tapes. These in this in this um, this type of tapes we're talking about is um, copies of the original master tapes, um, rock, pop, classical music, a little bit of everything. Here we can see the catalog, and um, for example, jazz. As you can see, we have very important names here i mean they're not not just um simple master tape copies these are top notch very important um albums which um somehow uh, you 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 do not find these elsewhere and as you can see the price is extremely high uh i in fact never never bought one of these because it, the, the the price is really a, a little too much for me i think but as you can see most of these are out of stock because they run a few of these by hand one by one and they have um uh, the a specific license that doesn't last that much obviously so um the 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 the, the case is high quality as you can see they use metal reels so um Obviously, all of this ends up with a very high cost, especially if you live outside the U.S., because this is uh, based in America, in the United States, and it, it will cost you much more to ship them out all the way to, uh, to, to Europe. But again, apart from that, this is surely one of the best expressions of tape, um, master tape copies, absolutely, especially if you're hunting down original high-quality tapes, of uh, uh for example as i said jazz but also as we can see uh pop rock blues a lot of stuff so this absolutely very very high quality so let's proceed let's take a look to a different type this is Fonet. this is an italian label 
and they've started rather recently to produce also some master tapes, some copies of their master tapes. They have their own recordings, so these are copies of modern master tapes of modern musicians. Most of them you're not even gonna uh, even heard about, but that doesn't matter. I mean, the the quality is certainly very high, and um, you can find mainly chamber music, but also orchestras, uh, some jazz, things like that. So let's take a look at a, a different, another site, Himiola. This is again is an Italian um, uh, pr producer. There are lots, I must say there's a strong tradition now in Italy to make um, reel-to-reel -reel recordings. Again, this is a um, recording label that make their own um, recordings. They have a nice catalog with, um, with their own musicians under contract so they have their uh, all, all productions are completely original and as you can see they also started to make tapes that's something new let's proceed let's take a look at opus 3 um there are very interesting um a very interesting label i think the quality of their super audio cds and cds is very high they're practically the best of the best in terms of northern recordings, they're from Norway, if I'm correct. Um, Norway or, 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 or Swedish, I don't remember. I think Norway. And anyway, I'll write this down here below. And their um, products are fantastic. I have a few copies of their master tapes. I think they're very, very good. And they have a large selection, actually. You don't have the images here, but all these are. Uh, are, uh, tapes you can order it takes a while but um, in the end you will have an, a fantastic product and obviously uh, the price again is not going to be cheap that's the downside of this passion unfortunately yes okay let's proceed this is a minor label master tape sound lab they again make their own uh, recordings as Opus 3, these are modern or semi-modern recordings, but all original of their own. Uh, th the price is a little better. Here there's a catalog with 64 tapes. It's mainly classical music, some jazz, and nothing incredible, I would say, but it's a decent, um, a decent product. Let's proceed. Another Italian label, Open Reel. Uh, these, this was one of the first ones to start to create reel-to-reels uh, master tapes. Obviously, we're, I just want to remember everyone that we're talking about quarter of an inch tape, two tracks. <laughs> and mainly in CCIR um, equalization. So again, they have a series of registration uh, recordings um, uh, of jazz, but also chamber music as you can see uh, very high quality you can also pick it like this, this this takes place in a lot of uh, websites actually you can pick sometimes not obviously and not, not everywhere if you want a, a, a metal reel or just a plastic reel because also that really uh, hires the price unfortunately so I just think we should look for music and we don't care if it's a pancake instead of a, a high quality um, machined uh, metal reel that I know it, it's more beautiful obviously but that's that that will really kick up the price of a $100 a euro or even more sometimes so this is another good example again Italian um here is instead uh, an America American um, label International Photograph Inc um, I've bought a few tapes from them uh, actually a few from Jonathan he actually re records all his uh, his productions on reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders and that is something that not everyone does now be careful a few of these guys unfortunately do record in a digital environment and then do transfers on to um, uh, onto tape so always make sure what you're buying you never know unfortunately you have to look for an AAA environment I think at least it's better otherwise the, the cost should be much more low 
So in this case, instead, uh, all of these are made in an analog environment by Jonathan. And I must say that um, most of them are really, really good. Absolutely. And the good point here is that the price are extremely human, decent. They're not too much high. Um, absolutely. So let's proceed. Quinton Records, another small label who does his own, its own recordings. Modern, again, pop, sometimes jazz, uh, a little bit of everything, but mainly I would say some jazz and, and, uh, and pop. Uh, another company is ABC Records. This is Japanese, I think. They have... Um, a good, a good, uh, a small selection actually, but they're supposed to be very high quality. I, I never heard these actually, but there's a nice. Um, it it looks like the, there there's a very a lot of care here in the in the recording production because they also do high quality mastering for their CDs, so they're, they're it's not just simple transfers. And as you can see here, we have also old recordings. Well, they're they're um transfers from the from original master tapes of the past let's proceed here we have something connected to velut luna of marco lincetto this is a, an excellent um uh, label that used to do I don't, I don't know if it's still doing that but in the past did a lot of recordings directly with studio equipment and i must say that these recordings are very good i have uh, a few of these actually three or four of these and uh, they sound very, very good, I think. And I, I found this site that is doing duplicates of these master tapes. And I, I, I don't see any prices, but they should be decent. You, you can try, try and contact. Obviously, all the links of these uh, websites I'm showing you are going to be in the video description. Um, here we have Tone Pearls Records, another uh, small label dedicated mainly to uh, classical music. Here, again, you can see the different, they, they make you choose which kind of tape, which kind of reel, which will, which will uh, ulster CDs. They're they also offering mastering uh, um, service and things like that. And um, this is just a, a very small offering, but I, 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 wanted, I wanted to try to put a little bit of everything. Another label, which is... Uh, pretty renowned among audiophiles, Yarlung Records. They make new uh, recordings with their own artists, but also they make um, they, they, they make new recordings of, of famous standards in jazz or, or soft uh, vocal jazz, pop, and things like that. And the, the prices are pretty good. The Sonics are good. Uh, I've, I've found these a few of these on, on eBay. They also have the SDHD tracks. So this is a, a cool little label, I think. Um, this is another small label, Ultra Analog Recordings. They also have a small little list here. Again, mainly classical music. And I know, guys, well, when you, you when you go in the audiophile domain, it's mainly jazz and classical music because that's where quality goes, unfortunately, mainly. I would love to have a, a 70s rock label dedicated to high quality <coughs> and, and analog recordings. So this is another example. Um, this is another example of, uh, uh, of a, a small label dedicated to direct to disc recordings, usually Chasing the Dragon, that's the name of the label. And they started in recently to do a few uh, tapes. They're, they're selling these for a decent price. Uh, from the from the from the the master tapes. So these are direct copies from the, of the master tape. As you can see, again, some classical music, mainly classical music, chamber music, but also some jazz and some um, soft jazz, pop, vocal jazz, pop, and things like that. Um, one of the newest productions, uh, very similar, we could say, to the tape project, is. Analog Productions. We all know Analog Productions for their incredible quality vinyl pressings. Well, they just started now with, with their line of Ultra Tape. And these are uh, copies of the original master tapes of very famous uh, albums, as you can see here. 
uh, classical music, but also uh, world, um, a little bit of jazz, and also I know a few modern, like J uh, Ian Janis, etc. This is top-notch, very high quality, and obviously, as you can see, very expensive. But apart from these shops where you can buy master tapes, um, the good place, the good way to, to find some copies for yourself, maybe at a decent price if you're lucky, or if you're good enough, is obviously eBay. So the good way to start is, for example, writing 15 inch per second reel, or instead of reel, maybe I would say tape, 15 inch per second tape. That will already show you, because that's something a lot, almost all every, every person selling um, reel to reel tapes uh, writes on their on their um, eBay page. So you're going to find, as you can see, 15 inch per second as is something that defines a typical master tape. That's why I use these parameters and I highly suggest you to use these as well. And as you can see, there are dozens of tapes here on eBay to uh, two track high quality and, and, and if you don't know what you're doing, you might go crazy. You say, oh, my God, look, a copy of Kind of Blue. John Coltrane, look at this, um, um, Pink Floyd, The Doors, Duke Ellington, Dark Side of the Moon, wow, well, wait a moment, guys, you absolutely do not know what you're looking at here, um, first of all, it is very strange to find, um, a very, a good quality copy with a cover like this, usually these are is this is something it's it's a gimmick i mean somebody is preparing a nice little cardboard box with a nice image on top and is dubbing his tapes in the worst of the hypothesis from a cd yep that can happen so very be careful or a high quality vinyl also that happened to me too so usually i never look or check these type of tapes because it's very strange i mean they ne they're never been sold on shops so you're not going to find tapes with covers like that with, with graphics with art of the of the album and the artist absolutely you're going to find something like this very simple with a cardboard box or just some writing on see this is a different example for example this guy who is in the business uh, is always selling copies of its of his own collection which that is good i mean just declare it um if you're selling copies of your own master tapes that is good okay that's another generation of copy obviously so it's going to be a little worse but you know what you're getting and if the source is a production copy or a true original master tape which is very rare actually you, everyone is using copies from, from um, production copies the quality will be pretty good i think it depends from who obviously i bought a, p a few few tapes from this guy and uh, not that good actually not that good i must i must admit it wasn't that good so i i wouldn't suggest actually this but i would suggest other um other types i don't know i'm just looking at this at uh, live but as you can see there's so many um tapes like this with the covers i i, I again i do not look at those unless you know the guy or you want to get in contact and you ask a few questions usually that is not the case moreover if you're looking instead of of just simple copies but you're really hunting down for production copies you have to look for something completely different now let's see if we can find something here a good example is to to write master tapes actually let's see okay so see here we start to have a true um, look of what a production copy or a master tape should be. See, someone is already sell selling here, uh, chasing a dragon type. Like, for example, just to give you an idea, uh, this is, I don't know, Guy Lombardo, nothing special. But as you can see, this, you can see the CBS records notes. This is a true um, master tape. Yep, maybe it's a copy, it could be but it's surely coming from the vaults of CBS. So this is high, very high quality. Who cares of Guy Lombardo? That's probably not gonna go up more than one or 200 euros, uh, dollars. But you never know. 
Here you can see the doors, but it's probably just one or two tracks. Aretha Franklin, again, three or four tracks, but th those are probably original, guys. Absolutely. Let's see if we can find something a little more appealing. Uh, let's see. As you can see, you have to look for this kind of graphics. Handmade, handwritten. That's a true master tape copy or production copy to print out LPs. <laughs> Let's try to write just master tape. Sometimes a lot of CDs come out, obviously, but see, these are copies. You can see these. This is probably an original. Alman Brothers. Ooh, in fact, you're starting from $1,000. All Man Brothers. But this, as you can see, is a true master tape. Although, unfortunately, is just one single song nothing special i wouldn't spend not even a third of that actually um let's go ahead let's see see there's a lot of of non-famous um groups well here instead we see wow miles davis a live concert in belgrade 86 these are original guys you you, you just see that immediately you see, you recognize them immediately. Ooh, this guy is selling selling a lot of them. Also, this type of tape is the one typically used during the um, late 70s and 80s. And always check also the other sellings of, of, of the sellers here. Visit his store. Look at his feedback. Uh, try to ask him where are these tapes coming from. The condition because you also have to know the condition if it doesn't say anything we already seen this the greatest hits of the doors remember that greatest hits are do not come from session tapes obviously i mean to create a good greatest hits you really have to work to put all the different tracks from different albums together so the quality is always going to be worse than an album um Let's see if we can find something a little more interesting. Okay, so for example, I just wanted to show you um, here. This is a good example of what, 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 what you may find. So for example, wow, um, master tapes of Pink Floyd in the final cut. Obviously, we're not talking of the true master tapes. We're talking about production copies. And in fact, if you check the photo, as you can see, it says EMI, which is good but is copied de Mexico, Mexico. This comes from Mexico. This was used to print um, the uh, Final Cut album in Mexico. So this is surely high quality if the tape was preserved in a proper way. You don't know that. You should check the description, but that's something the guy is just saying. You never know. Um, if, the, if This obviously is coming is a direct copy of the original master tapes. <laughs> which was sent out then to um, to Mexico to print out, again, the vinyl records, the true vinyl records for that country. And those are the copies you can find if you're lucky. Obviously, with famous bands like this, the prices are going to go really up high. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments. Please leave your resources if you know other places where we can find master tape copies or other solutions where we can um, buy these on the web or also shops online, etc. Hope to see you soon and ciao. Stay tuned. Bye.